haven't done that much sailing together, Dan and I. I've been sailing with some other skippers in the lead up, but in this last section of uh, preparation, it's been really intense and as good as we can get here in Australia. So we're pretty happy with it. And, and transferring to a new sailing venue has been a bit of adjustment, but it really is, I mean, the situation in Sydney Harbour is about as close as we can get to Rio. So the wind's coming off and all the boats all over the place. It's going to be great preparation over the next two years. Yeah, really, this is the beginning of the campaign. The outcome here is not so important for us. It's really just to get back on the water in that midst of that really tough competition and see how everyone's changed in the last two years and then come back and rebuild over the next two years. Yeah, no, just Absolutely. to go over there and sail well together. To be back in the, in the international fleet is going to be really nice. I mean, we've had great training partners here at Middle Harbour, but to get out there amongst the best in the world is going to be challenging and exciting. I've done quite a bit of reading. Captain Cook spent three years there actually learning his mapping skills and as a geography teacher I'm going to be quite intrigued as to the history of the place. I've also had some pretty horrific stuff going on in the Second World War so we'll wait and see. Straight to school the day I'm flying through the night, straight back to work as soon as I get off the plane and see the term out and then get back up on the water as often as we possibly can. Who knows, there might be a Sydney to Hobart campaign in there, Miami next year. Hopefully we'll get on the water at Rio.